He is Tom McKee, our current champion, whose winnings now total in cash and prizes $312,700. He is Tom's current challenger. They are in the middle of a game, and Tom's battling to save his championship. Will he succeed? We'll soon find out as from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Wink Martindale. Place good. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you. Well, welcome to our show. And really an exciting show these days with our current champion over $300,000 in cash and prizes. Let's meet him right now. Our current champion who's winning total in cash and prizes, $312,700, is a pilot in the Navy. Meet Lieutenant Tom McGee. And his opponent is a computer systems analyst who spent three years traveling around the world. Meet Eric Kerpeline. <laughs> Just saying to Eric as he walked out here and also to Tom, it's going to be an interesting match as we continue. And I know that you're kind of anxious to get this thing underway. Looking forward to the end of it. We've kept you waiting long enough, Eric, so we'll move right along. Lieutenant Tom McKee with $312,700 in cash and merchandise may have met his match. However, uh, are you nervous about this particular game, this particular show as we start, Tom? No, not really. Not as much as uh, what's going to happen is going to happen. In other words, perhaps you were even more nervous the first time you ever came out here. <laughs> much more. Well, let's see what happens as we get this game underway once again. Okay. You'll remember last show, the game was interrupted and uh, time ran out. We had to stop. These were the categories for the questions. Our questions were built around Spirit of 76, Television Stars, Foreign Authors, Dropouts, Japan, Numbers, Comic Strips, World Literature, and Famous Lovers. Here's what the board looked like when we ended the last show. Three O's for Eric, two X's on the board for Tom. In the pot, $1,100 at this point. Now as we begin, first we shuffle. Four boxes left, we see foreign authors, dropouts, numbers in Japan. Tom, as our champion, you select first. Not my favorite wink, but I have to go with foreign authors in the top left of the block. All right, foreign authors is the subject. Tom, if you answer this question correctly, you will have a diagonal block of Eric. And here is the question in that category. The English author, Charles Dodgson, wrote the books Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass under a famous pen name. For a block, what was it? Lewis Carroll. Yes, for a block. <laughs> so an X goes in the box, famous authors. We add another $200 to the pot. It's now worth $1,300. Gentlemen, there are three boxes left. As you can see, the categories in those boxes can decide who wins and who loses. Let's move them around. TV stars, foreign authors, and world literature. Eric? It's not my favorite either, but I'll try TV stars, please. Television stars in the top center of the board. And Eric, here is your question. First, take a look at this picture, please. In a popular series, this actor portrays a spaceman whose far-out adventures take place in the 25th century. Name this actor's television role. Buck Rogers. Yes, that is correct. The actor, by the way, is Bill Gerard as Buck Rogers. Put an O in the box, TV stars. Add another $200 to the pot. That takes us up to $1,500. We're down now to two boxes. The categories in them will decide what happens to you in this game. Let's shuffle. <laughs> okay, let's try foreign authors in the bottom uh, center, Wink. <laughs> bottom center on foreign authors. Tom, if you answer this question correctly, we will have a tie game. Here's the question. This English novelist and social critic wrote about a totalitarian society in his classic novel, 1984, and satirized communism in his book, Animal Farm. For a tie game, name him. Or Orwell. Right, George Orwell for a tie game.
Well, Tom, the way the game started, as you well know, had you missed the first question on the show, that would not have given you that diagonal block. And perhaps if Eric had answered the next question and gone for that position on the board, he would have become our new champion. However, you did pull it out. We have a tie situation between you two now. We have $1,700 in the pot. And shortly, we'll show you nine new categories and start all over again, if our hearts will take it. We'll get back to our second game between these two phenomenal players in a moment. Time a champion on Tic Tac Doe defeats five opponents. He wins a special prize. Special Tom has won eight of them. And Jay Stewart's going to tell us what I'm talking about, as if you didn't know. For your driving pleasure, it's a brand new car. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the business at hand now. With seventeen hundred dollars in the pot, here are nine new categories for you two to select from. Take a letter, sleuths, maps of states, Dan's and Don's, women in film the 70s, strange facts, physics, and mythology. Tom Champion goes first, so select, please. Let's try women in film in the center box, Wink. In the center box, it's worth $300 to the pot, Tom, and as you know, you have some extra time to think about your answer. In the film classic, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, two of Hollywood's top actresses play aging sisters who live in seclusion. Name the two actresses who starred in the film. Here's your extra time. Tom, I want the names of the two actresses who starred in the film, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Betty Davis was one. That's correct. And I don't know, uh, Shirley Booth is the only guess I have. I don't know. No, it's Joan Crawford. Uh, Betty Davis and Joan Crawford starred in Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. Still $1,700 in the pot. Let's move the categories around on the board. Eric? I'll try take a letter in the center, please. In the center box, take a letter. Again, it's a two-parter. Eric, I'll give you some extra time for your answer. Your letter is H. H. I'll describe two musical instruments whose names begin with the letter H, and you name them. One, this keyboard instrument was the forerunner of the piano. Two, this small reed instrument is sometimes referred to as a mouth organ. Think about that. Eric, the letter is H. First, this keyboard instrument was the forerunner of the piano. That's a harpsichord. That's right. To put an O in the center box, this small reed instrument is sometimes referred to as a mouth organ. Harmonica. Yes, that's it. Good for the center box. So an O goes in the center in the category take a letter. $300 goes into the pot. It's now worth $2,000 as we shuffle. And we're back to Lieutenant Tom McKee. Wink, why don't we try uh, the 70s in the lower right? The 1970s. The subject question is this. In May of 1975, the troops of this Southeast Asian country captured the American merchant ship, the Mayaguez. The U.S. later mounted an unsuccessful rescue attempt. Name the country whose troops seized the Mayaguez. Cambodia. Right. Put an X in that box. The next goes there in the 70s, another $200 in the pot. Let's move the categories around with $2,200 to play with. I'll try physics in the center bottom, please. Bottom center on physics. Eric, when this French scientist and his wife discovered radium in 1898, it laid the foundation for future research and development in nuclear physics. Name this famous couple. Curie. Right. Marie and Pierre Curie. An O goes in that box, another 200 in the pot. Let's move the categories again. Tom. Didn't do too well, but I'll have to go with women in film again in the top center. All right, women in film. Try it again, Tom. Here is your question. Answer this correctly, and you'll block Eric vertically on the board. This beautiful actress has appeared in several films, including The Wind and the Lion and Getting Straight, and was nominated for an Oscar for her role in the movie Starting Over. For a block, name her. Candace Bergen, uh, the late Edgar Bergen's daughter, Candace Bergen, fine actress. Still $2,400 in the pot as we shuffle the categories. And there they are, Eric. 
After a lot of soul searching, I'll try the 70s, top center. <clears throat> Took a lot of time to think about, yes, huh? Yes, it did. The 1970s. And Eric, for all of us, especially for Tom, the moment of truth is here. If you answer this question correctly, you will become our new champion on Tic-Tac-Doe, and you will have $2,600 to show for it. Here's the question. In February of 1974, heiress Patricia Hearst was kidnapped by a radical political group that was known by its three initials. For Tic-Tac-Doe, the championship, and $2,600, what are those three initials? S-L-A. You win! We have a new champion. Symbionese Liberation Army, S-L-A. Eric, our congratulations to you. Thank you, Wink. <clears throat> Quite an accomplishment. Three big O's vertically on the board, and a new champion takes over. What perhaps could be another long reign? Who knows? Time will tell. You have $2,600 to show for your efforts, Eric, and you have accomplished what the other 43 challengers could not. It happened on day number 46 for Tom here <laughs> on Tic-Tac-Doe. <laughs> well, Jenny, you joined him there and you gave him a big hug, and I don't blame you. You've got to be a real good job. proud of you. You can't hubby. complain at all. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Are you complaining? <laughs> no. You played 88 games. You missed 32 questions all total out of 385. And you were on, as I mentioned, 46 shows. Ladies and gentlemen, that is quite an accomplishment, is it not? Of course, you're already in the Guinness Book of World Records, and uh, you sort of set a hallmark for uh, contestants to follow on this show and all other game shows, Tom. What is your reaction to all of this now? You have to have a few thoughts that perhaps are, <laughs> are wheeling through your mind at this moment after becoming sort of a fixture on Tic-Tac-Doe. Well, I tell you, Wink, uh, I'd like to thank God and my parents for bringing me up the right way, and Jenny for coming up here and picking number seven all the time to start the games <laughs> off, <laughs> and the Navy for, for allowing me to come. And I don't know, I told Eric when it was all over, I said, I feel more relief than anything else, because it's... The it's, strain is uh, something that kind of gets there. to you after a while. It's there, it's kind of a relief to be done and know that's it. <laughs> no more trips to Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, no more trips to Los Angeles. I'd rather stay down in San Diego. <laughs> you had Los Angeles for a while, huh? Oh, geez. Well, Tom, you've been a marvelous uh, contestant. Uh, obviously, uh, you have done what nobody else has ever been able to do on any game show, and that is win all this money and, and all of these prizes, and uh, you've conducted your well, yourself marvelously, and I'm sure that you've had a lot of fans at home watching Tic Tac Doe, as well as the audiences who have seen you uh, do your thing here on our show. And to you and Jenny, uh, you both celebrated recently your first wedding anniversary. May I wish you both the very best. Godspeed. Spend it wisely and well. And here's to years of happiness to you both. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Sir. We'll be back for a bonus game in just a moment. Thank you, Jay. First things first, Tom McKee was not hard to pronounce, but Eric, I want you to, you know, give me the pronunciation of your last name if you're going to be around here for a while. I better learn this. Well, the full pronunciation is Hans Erik Oskar Kreppelin, but it's Hans Kreppelin in English, or Eric Kreppelin, I go by. Would you mind if we just made that Tom Jones or That's Bill? That's fine. <laughs> hey, Eric, again, congratulations. Out, right? During that uh, break, he said, gee, it's, uh, it's a nice feeling to be over here in this position. X-rated position. That means championship. <laughs> Eric, let's see if you can beat the dragon. First time. Here we go. Surely you've seen this board before. First time you've been this close to it, though, Eric. Behind the numbers are various amounts of money, a tick, a tack, and a dragon. It was always there somewhere. Reach $1,000 or more, or get the tick and the tack, and you'll win a prize package. Now, 
You've had the good fortune to become our new champion on Tic Tac Doe. And once again, Lady Luck is smiling, and Jay Stewart's going to tell us uh, what she's smiling about. Well, first, Eric, pack up all your good luck charms in this beautiful new luggage. Gateway luggage, a collection of totes, pullmans, and carry-on luggage in smart designer styles for today's carry-on style of air travel, furnished by Canny Marketing Services. Then rub your rabbit's foot and try your luck in the casinos of Las Vegas. Yes, we'll fly you to Las Vegas, Nevada's largest city, with its large, luxurious gambling casinos, busy nightlife, elaborate shows that attract visitors from all parts of the world and you'll enjoy a round trip flying holiday for two via western airlines to las vegas america's favorite playground western offers more flights daily to las vegas than any other airline western airlines the only way to fly and while there you'll have an exciting seven-day vacation at the frontier hotel in las vegas where you'll enjoy fine dining name entertainment in the music hall showroom furnished by the frontier hotel in las vegas and finally eric you've heard of the luck of the irish well you'll be lucky enough to discover it for yourself when we send you to Ireland. Yes, you'll enjoy a fascinating nine-day tour of the Emerald Isle. In this historical land of lakes and greenery, you'll enjoy the charm of Dublin's fair city, Blarney Castle, the lakes of Killarney, the panoramic ring of Kerry, and Galway Bay. This Irish vacation is furnished by CIE Tours International. And Eric, this lucky package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,650. Win this package, Eric. Remember, board the dragon, you lose everything. Get the tick and attack, you automatically get the dough. Let's shuffle them around, cover them up, and start calling out numbers. Well, I'd like to get the first number for my sister, who has been calling me up every night with questions. All right, who do you have in the audience besides your sister? Well, I have my parents, my sister, her two children, uh, my niece's boyfriend, and a friend of my nephew. You got the whole second row, I think. That's there, right. Huh? She's really been putting you through it, and I uh, ask you Every questions. night, I get this phone call. She's asked me every question that's been on Tic-Tac-Toe and the Joker as well, and she makes up questions at work. All right, what number does she want you to take? Two. Number two. All right, little dudes, top center on the board. What do we find? For Eric, behind number two, good number? 400, yeah. I'll take that, won't you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Who's next, Eric? Karen. Karen. Six. Number six? All right, right over here, middle center on the board on the far right side. To go with $400, what do we find? Tick. Add it to tack, and you know what that means. Number four. Number four, okay. Behind number three, before number five in the center. Number four, what do you have? 600 attack. You got it. Oh. smiling on you, no doubt. He's traveled all over the world, but he's never been to Ireland. How does that happen to be? Well, I was in England and Scotland, but it uh, just never turned out that we got to Ireland. You didn't get to call out a number either. Where do you think the dragon was located? Number if you'd five. Go, number five, no doubt in your mind? No doubt. Let's look behind number five, just to see, just for the fun of it, $300. Where was the dragon? Let's take a look. One, three, seven, eight, nine. Somebody said eight. Nobody said one. What do you think? At least I didn't hear anybody didn't say either. one. Well, you are uh, perhaps on your way to a winning streak. We're going to find out now. I will remind you that your winnings, including this uh, package and your trip to Ireland, comes to a total not a bad beginning, $6,250 in cash and merchandise. Again, congratulations. You get over there, Eric, meet new player. All right, Jay Stewart, who's next? From Manchester, Massachusetts, he's a computer systems analyst whose favorite pastime is playing golf. Meet Charles McCarthy. <laughs> Charlie McCarthy, <laughs> wouldn't you just know it? You look so much different sitting on Edgar Bergen's knee in those great days. Oh, wink. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> Guess I'm the one who looks more like a dummy right now. <laughs> Tell me about your golf game, Charles. You're pretty good? No, but I played two or three times a week, and I've played in Europe at some of the courses like St. Andrews. Sounds like you are one who takes golf pretty seriously. I like golf, but I think it brings out the worst in people. I used to have a regular game I played of golf with a, with a, with a friend, and uh, would you play with someone who sneakily moved a ball? No, I don't think so. Neither would my friend. So we never <laughs> play golf anymore, but occasionally, on rare occasions. We'll find out if we have time to play our game in just a moment. Got to say once again, Tom McKee was a marvelous champion, over $312,000 in cash and prizes. And I think very honestly that I had uh, a tendency from time to time to lose sight of the fact that that young man was only 25 years of age. And usually, you know, knowledge is gained through years of being around on this earth. 25 years old. And that's not to minimize what you have been able to do, Eric. I want to congratulate you 
and I want to wish you well. And Charlie, we'll see you first thing. We'll, I promise you, if you'll come back on the next show, we'll get a game underway. Okay, great. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us. Please be with us for the next edition of Tic Tac Toe. Bye bye. Me too. N31. Oh, 69. The audience is playing, and they're winning cash. Bingo America is a game where everyone can win. And you can win, too. Play along. Go to gsn.com and print your card for free. If your bingo matches our bingo, you could win $50. Bingo! Watch and play Bingo America.